it's Irina Z and in this video I'm going to show you how to start building your first funnel and we're going to first start talking about the classic funnel builder but if you stick with me throughout the next three videos in this tutorial you'll be able to learn more about building funnels inside of the ClickFunnels system. So the first thing that you'll do if you want to build a funnel from the classic funnel builder would be to go ahead and head over from your dashboard and click plus new funnel right here, this button. You could also get there by going to click funnels and clicking build funnel right over here. So for this example, we're going to go ahead and click this, which will bring us to this menu. So it's going to be on the cookbook page, but the classic funnel builder is going to pop up right over here. As you can see now on this page, you'll be able to choose a goal and your goal could be to collect emails, to sell a product or to host a webinar. Now for this example, we'll just go ahead and choose to collect emails and we're going to just go ahead and name the funnel that we're going to have. So this is going to be demo classic and you could select to add a group tag. Two ways to look at this essentially group tags are a way for you to organize your dashboard. So you could, for example, have active funnels or inactive funnels, or if you have, you know, different offers, um, you could group them in different offers. But for this example, we're going to go ahead and put this funnel under our demo funnels. And as you can see over here, the funnel steps that are going to be included are the landing page and the thank you page. All right. And you could also watch an explainer video right here about this. Now we'll go ahead and click build funnel and you can see the funnel being populated in your account. Now, the next thing you'll need to do is pick the templates of the pages that you want to use. So you can see right here, this is an opt-in page and right here you can see the email opt-in pages and below there's going to be a number of templates that you can choose from. So just go ahead and scroll through and choose the one that you would like to use. We'll go ahead and select this one. And then the next thing you'll have to do is go ahead and add a thank you page. So we'll click on thank you right here. Again, over here, you can see the thank you pages. So you click on thank you and all the thank you templates will show. And we'll go ahead and select a thank you that we like. So we'll just go ahead and choose this one, for example. And now our funnel is ready for us to go ahead and customize and edit it. Keep in mind that there's a launch checklist you could follow along with. So you could go ahead and select this right here and follow along. You could customize the template, of course. You could choose your domain, so choose your custom domain. If you haven't added a custom domain in your ClickFunnels account, this would be a perfect time for you to go ahead and do that. So we could just go ahead and choose a domain for it and save it. And then you could decide where you want to store your leads. So you could go ahead and add an email integration, whether you're using Actionetics or a third party email integration, you can go ahead and do that right here. And then once you're ready to launch, you can go ahead and launch it right here. So definitely a great resource for you to have over here. Now, another thing I want to mention to you is when you're in your funnel, if you wanted to go ahead and head over to the settings tab under the settings tab, you have some options as well. You could rename your funnel. You can choose your domain in here, just as you could in the launch checklist. You could add or remove group tags. You can configure your path. So say this is going to be your homepage. You can go ahead and type in home. Now, right here, the SMTP configuration, if you haven't added an SMTP configuration, and this is going to give you the ability to send emails, uh, you will want to go ahead and add an SMTP configuration and select it here. And for the favicon URL, uh, this will give you an ability to have the icon. So when you visit a web page, for example, Google, there's a little icon next to Google on the tab. You can go ahead and add your own custom one right here. And then you can also add tracking codes. So if you want to track your funnel by, you know, some sort of pixel, whether it's from Google or from Facebook, you have the ability to add tracking pixels right over here. Now, this is how you would use the classic funnel builder to go ahead and get started with building your funnel and launching your funnel. If you run into any trouble with this, please reach out to our support team and they'd be more than happy to help. Thanks so much.